I'm so excited. The cocoa choir is here. It's time to pop my tomato seeds. Look, it looks like bricks. I'm so excited. I have to add water to it. And then after a half hour, I'm gonna mix it with the miracle Grow and ball. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. This is what I waited for all week. So now I have to dehydrate this. I decided to go with Coco Coir because when I looked up miracle Grow and all the other soils that they were selling on Amazon or Lowe's, either they were infested with bugs or infested with mold. So I finally read a comment that said that nothing that they could find as far as soil that was a premix was good enough. So they just made their own. So I decided to make my own. I'm gonna use the rest of the miracle Grow that I have. I'm going to make my own compost. And I'm also gonna use this cocoa coir. This already has nutrients. I don't have to worry about bugs. It's compact and individually packaged, even though I'm having trouble getting it out. And so I don't have to worry about big bags of soil taking up space. And the bug thing was a huge issue for me. I've got, like, I cannot afford to be overrun with pests. And then it's biodegradable. Unlike peat moss, which technically is biodegradable, but it takes so long to replace that, you should just consider it non-sustainable. Ah! Oh my God. Five, five pound grow bags, I believe. Let's open those up. These are the guys that we're gonna repot. I'm so excited. All right, Utopia grow bags. I got these off of Amazon. They had so many different choices. These were $9.96. And I'm gonna need a lot of them. I've got like 30 mini pepper plants. Five of them. And each tomato plant gets one. What do you think, guys? Let's turn it home. Let's see. So I watched a few videos on how to dehydrate this cocoa coir, and each person used a different temperature. And then when I looked it up, it was like basically not too hot, not too cold. So I'm gonna, I'm boiling it right now and then I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit. But honestly, the first pot of water that boils, I'm gonna use it because I'm excited. This is what I used to keep 100 gallons of rice in. It's what's going to keep my compost on my balcony. But right now it's what I'm going to break down these bricks in. I just gotta clean it real good. I had to rinse that out several times. I wanted to make sure there's no rice in there. I'm so mindful now of using chemicals and stuff that I'm gonna use seeds or use for seeds or plants. I understand how detrimental that can be to the growth of such a sensitive little ecosystem. bricks so excited pray over these plants i want you to survive we've come so far i'm committed to you i'm gonna break it up just like they did in the video oh well maybe not okay just gonna lay them in there then that john was not brick friendly so she used one cup, then ended up using three all together. She just gradually added it. All right. Thank you, God. I'm so glad 
the gloves came. My fingers been so torn up. It's been stripping the skin, the bleach. I got these for sale. I have one, two, three pair. For $7.99, not bad. I like the ones that come up to here, but I will take this. I just have to go a lot slower. So which one should I use for gardening? We're gonna use these. Ah, I'm so happy. And then we can use these for the dishes. Oh, I have four. That's so awesome. Bathroom backup. Nice. I got a nice little sale on Amazon. Sweet. Nice quality too. Nice and thick. So it won't break when I get stabbed with a knife when I'm washing dishes. You know how your knives are sitting at the bottom of your little dish pan. I'm happy with these. I have decided I'm not going to let it boil. It's starting to boil, so I stopped the water. I'm gonna wipe off my table, and I'm gonna get my Pyrex, and I'm gonna start adding water to this. Mm, it smells so good. Mm. It smells like a horse farm. Mama still minus the poopy stuff. It smells like horses. It smells amazing. Very organic smelling. to get it now now that I touch it okay more water I'm adding more water into that hot water the bricks are extremely dense and now that I've touched it I understand how much water it's gonna need to absorb to break into actual soil this is so nice to work with and it smells amazing Okay, I understand now the importance of adding the water slowly. I feel like I added too much water too fast, so now I'm just, I put the slightly muddy substrate on top of the still dry part of the block, and I'm gonna let it sit for about a half hour and absorb that extra moisture. But next time when I add water, I'm gonna actually follow directions and add the water slowly. about 10 minutes I added some more water and poked some holes in it it's getting there I'm gonna break some up with my hands and then let it sit this is what we have after 10 or 15 minutes I had broken up the bigger parts that hadn't absorbed the water yet with my hands oh I love this I'm so excited I'm gonna let it sit for 10 more minutes to make sure that everything's totally completely absorbed and then I'm gonna mix the rest of the miracle Grow that I have in here and then we're gonna repot our plants Okay, I ordered the table from Walmart. I finally found one. They were so expensive, I was determined I was not paying more than $35 for one of these foldable tables. And I finally found one on sale. And then I got Raja his headset that he needs and his dongle so that he can start recording from his phone. And he can also use it on his laptop. So I'm really excited about that. It's all coming together. I'm gonna let that soil sit overnight so that that cocoa qua really absorbs all of that moisture. So the next time you see me, it will be tomorrow. I ain't even gonna hold you. I was up last night, losing sleep because I was worried about transpiring these plants. I don't want these things to die. Like I'm gonna feel like such a failure. I really was praying. Like I done. I went in there. I gave the plants a pep talk. I let them know they were going to get transferred, they were going to be in a new environment, and everybody needed to stay strong. I'd like to let you believe that I'm joking, but I'm really not. I'm so serious. I'm, and it's like, I know that I'm a conscious manifester, so I'm not supposed to speak on the things that I fear. There goes a white butterfly. 
that's so pretty or think about the things that I fear but I had to be honest and just accept how I felt acknowledge it and let it go because I was like yo I'm scared these plants are gonna die when I transfer them they're not gonna die though so one of those bricks only makes enough substrate to fill up two of the five gallon bags so i'm waiting right now for five more five gallon bags no i ordered a bunch of 10 gallon bags for the pepper plants and i'm gonna have to order a whole new pack of coco coir to redo my mini pepper plants so for right now we're just transferring the tomatoes i broke down some more, two more bricks of the coco coir last night and started filling the bags i'm so excited so I've got three more bags to fill and one more brick to break down and I'm gonna have to make that work. And then next week I'm gonna order the rest of the stuff. It's $17.65 for what, five bricks? And so that'll break down enough for two, 25 pounds, 25 pounds worth of grow bags. All right, I got everything I needed. I just needed to grab some almond milk, paper towels, and some more body wash. I don't wanna have to come back down here. I'm trying to be more strategic with only going to a dollar store on Saturdays because they always have that $5 off if you spend $25 sale. I'm trying. Tell me why I had the coupon last Saturday. Threw it away because I didn't think I was going to go. Changed my mind later. Went down there, spent exactly $25. I had to stop and let this man go in front of me because the men like to be like, no, you can go ahead and walk in front of you. They just want to look at your hind parts. So I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let him go right on ahead of me. I think not, brother. See, they more than ready to move. We had to talk, didn't we, guys? You guys are gonna get taken care of next week. See, I already have their support sticks and everything. It's nice and moist. It's warm, but this is cool. But the when I put the rest on top, it'll be nice and warm. I said to make sure it's warm. I have a little temperature gauge and everything. I'm not playing. This is my cocoa core, mixed with the tiniest bit of Miracle Girl I had left, and then. This is the brick that I still have to put down, which I'm really good at now. Just slowly pour the warm water on there. I didn't pour water from last time. And this is the cocoa choir from last night. Now, this is warm. Okay. So, yeah. I'm excited. It smells amazing. Look at that color. It smells like horses without the poop. All right. What are you about to do? I'm about to repot these tomato plants. The time for being scary is over. Yeah. It's time to get her done. Mm -hmm. So, let's do it. All right, yeah. Get it, get it, get it. We just you ready? All right, let's go. Okay. Let's do it. I'm trying to germinate some lemon seeds. It's not working so far, but we'll see. And then I have some more lemon seeds in there. I broke my this. So, okay. so I'm going to separate these, stick each one in a grow bag, and then fill the top with the rest of the cocoa water. Okay, the roots are really intertwined, so I want to be really careful to not interrupt the root systems. I'm praying this whole way. Everything is so intricate. And I just want to be careful. It's like the nerves, right? Just want to take my time and just be gentle. Because I don't want you guys to be traumatized. Next time I'll know not to plant the seeds so close together. Just being very gentle because everything is so close together. It smells like earth and wetness. Everything looks very, very healthy. You see? You see these root systems? Almost done. I know you guys are really close, and so now it's time to separate and go to your own places. I feel like this is the most important part, so I'm just gonna pay attention now, okay?
Everybody's nice and separated now. It took maybe five minutes. I took my time. I'm feeling a lot more confident now. I don't want to touch them too much. I learned a lot. Next time, I'm going to use tweezers and grow each individual seed so that there's not too many. This this was like detangling hair, honestly. I'm really excited. But right, let's get these planted. So I said tomatoes like to be planted very deep. So I've got my grow bags already pre-measured. So I'm going to fill this up with soil now. substrate. I know I do. I have to order some more. Okay, so I have my first official finished one. You think I have enough soil? Let me know down in the comments. So this gives a lot of space for my roots. All that growth space. And so the bigger the container, the bigger the plant. I did all the things. My soil's not too wet. It's not too dry. I prepped it. It's warm. It has the support. And I was careful with the roots. I did all the things. I'm gonna pray over it again and let's repeat the process. I wanted to show you to save substrate. I've just been moving these to the side a little bit and then putting the plant in and then just them like this. And I can come back and add more later. And then put the support stick in. This is indoor gardening on a budget, okay? This is work with what you have, do what's best for your plants, but also not mess up your income while doing it. I live below my means and I'm investing in myself for my future and into my businesses so I don't like to waste money. So this needs to stay a cost conscious hobby. All right, friends, that's a win. We repotted our tomato plants. We've started our indoor garden. I was afraid, I was nervous, I was insecure, but I faced it and now we have a whole new set of challenges. We've gotta get them to grow. We got them from seed to seedling. Now they're transferred and let's see if we can't get these plants to maturity. I'm gonna name them. And I'm still gonna have to germinate everybody once it begins to flower, so. Yep. Thank you for spending time with me here in Fury World. If you're interested in checking out my music, it's available under my artist name, The Fury of Abyss, on all music streaming platforms worldwide. I love you. Please pray for my plants. <laughs> I'm looking forward to going on this growing journey with you. I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.